Welcome back to your DB2 tutorial series. This video we are going to be talking about one to many relationships. This video and a lot of the upcoming videos are general database design concepts and just database concepts in general, not necessarily relating to design. And all of these things are important when you're working with the database system. Fortunately, this information is very universal. So once you learn it with a DB2 database, you can apply it to any other database system out there that is relational. That being said, I am trying to teach these concepts in the context of a DB2 database. So some of the specific details might vary a little bit from database to database. The overall concepts are very universal. So as we go through these videos, even though we might not be talking specifically how to do something in DB2, all of this is extremely foundational for successfully working with a DB2 database. So let's get started with one-to-many relationships. As a review from the previous video, a one-to-one -one relationship is a relationship between an entity and an attribute. Well now, in a one-to-many relationship, we're having relationships between multiple entities. Generally, this is going to be structured in a way that there is a parent. In this situation, we have a parent entity that's going to be referenced by multiple child entities. This is the structure of a one-to-many relationship. And the reason it's one-to-many is because there is one entity up here and potentially many entities down here. There are some restrictions when it comes to one-to-many relationships. So this entity could not reference another parent. This would be illegal and just can't happen. So that'll make a little bit more sense once we go into a little bit more detail, but just for now know that a one-to-many relationship is many entities referencing one entity. So let's say we have a premium website where you can buy these memberships. And generally when you go to a membership website, they're going to have three tiers. You know, one that's really super cheap, but has like no features. One in the middle where you get a little bit of everything, and that's usually the most popular. And then you got like the premium one that costs a whole lot. Well, let's kind of mimic that and see how we would design that as a one-to-many relationship. You see, there are three different options when it comes to the membership, and this user gets to choose one. So let's say he picks bronze. Well, this other user, she might pick gold. The important thing to realize though is that one user can't pick multiple membership levels and two different users could, if they wanted, reference the same membership level. So in this situation, we have a one-to-many relationship. That's because we have one entity over here, which would be the parent, and then two children entities that are going to reference that parent. How do we actually structure this in a database? Well, this is where primary and foreign keys come in. The parent is going to have a primary key. And let's just say that value is one. Well, each one of these children are going to reference that primary key using a foreign key. So the value of that foreign key is going to be one. And that makes that association between this one and this one over here. And that's how you kind of connect things. If we wanted to structure this in tables, it would look something like this. Every single table has a primary key, which forces every single row to be unique. So these are the columns. So if you were to actually look at data, it would be structured like this, where the columns are here. But for simplicity, we kind of design it where the columns are one after the other, and this is generally known as an entity relationship diagram, and it just allows us to structure the columns of our tables. So the user table is going to have a primary key and the membership table is going to have a primary key. This here is a foreign key that references this primary key. And essentially what that means is every single value for this membership ID column has to be a value from this column over here. The membership rows would look something like this, where we have the ID and we have the value of whatever that ID is. Then over here you would have one user with a membership ID. So the user with the ID of one references the bronze. Or you could have a user with the ID of two reference gold. And it's impossible to put something like a four because you see this value here has nowhere to reference. So that would not be allowed to be put into the database. And that's the benefit of having foreign keys is that they add those restrictions. That's all I got for you for one-to-many relationships. In the next video, we are going to be talking about many-to-many -many relationships. And that's actually a problem in databases because it's not very easy to design a many-to-many -many relationship. But I'm going to be teaching you the trick so that way you know what to do. So thanks for watching, guys. Please be sure to subscribe. Check out the links for some important links. 
check out the description for some important links. <laughs> Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.